the chain for use instructions uh, kind of give the basics, but we wanted to go a little further into how to use a chafer, do a little demonstration. Uh, so as you can see, there's a bunch of different styles. We have these disposable ones, which work uh, pretty well for casual parties, tailgates, uh, and then we have some upscale, fancier versions. Um, and these are just a few examples. Um, and there's some really unique styles out there. So uh, these are the ones we'll work with. Uh, first tip is when you're putting water into the chafer, you have the water pan, the bottom one, you're going to want to make sure that you don't pour in too much water, especially if you have a pan that's pretty much the same size as the water pan. Um, but you're going to want to do about a half inch um, of water throughout the pan. If you put too little of water in, uh, then it will all evaporate and then it will get too hot and like the burn food. So, put the food pan in and then uh, you're set with the water. If you don't have a spatula or a can opener to open the sternos, there's a little trick of opening them with themselves. So you just take the edge onto the lip here, kind of pop it open. Don't get that sterno jelly anywhere. And to do the same thing with that one. So if you open the cans too early, all the alcohol will evaporate, so you don't want to do that. Um, but if you want to have everything set to go, you can just kind of set the lids right on there and take them off right when you're done. And you can set them in here. Um, these ones have the little hooks. Pop them right in there. Um, if you're using a chafer and it's a windy day, uh, you can't do this a lot for tailgates. You can take tin foil and kind of wrap it around uh, the shaper stand like this. And this kind of keeps the wind out um, and lets the food still be hot. Um, also, safety precaution, never forget the shaper, the water, the sterno, it's all very hot. So just be careful. Uh, find that when you're putting out the sterno. Um, but other than that, you should be good. You'll have your food hot and uh, have an enjoyable party. So let Zingerman's Catering know if you have any questions and we'll